So you're ready to have some fun and take a look at some AC waveforms. So I got the oscilloscope last week. It's a little signet, Siglent 50 megahertz scope. And it started, well, I'm gonna play around with it and, and just look at some AC waveforms and see how good they are. And what I did is I chose five different items uh, that generate power to run your electronics, your fridge, whatever, heck, the whole house in my instance. And what I'm going to show you in this video is uh, what the waveforms look like. Now, honestly, I was very surprised when I saw the results here using this oscilloscope and the, the test probe and just hooking it up to the, to the outlet and seeing what I got. So this is going to be a really cool video, so take a look at this. see what this is all about. All right, showing true RMS here. I got about 119.5 on that. All right, let's see if I can get a waveform. Can you see that? <laughs> That's what's coming out of this. That is crazy. That doesn't look like a sine wave to me. I don't know what the hell that looks like. Let me try something here. Yep, over there. How about that, huh? That's just coming out of a modified sine wave inverter. And it read 120, almost 120 volts. Okay. All right, well, let's see if it, uh, you know, hell, let's see if it powers up the light here. Plug a light in and see what happens. <laughs> it works. Okay. All right, check this out. This is a APC Schneider battery backups. Okay, got this about a year ago. Energy Star compliant. And relatively new got the probe hooked up to the hot lead and did the oscilloscope this right here is the what's coming off the inverter right so let's do a simulated power failure and show you what happens to the waveform okay so all i'm going to do is just unplug the battery backups from power it'll start beeping and then the waveform will be right there do this one handed. God only knows what the heck that is. Ha! That's what that's what the power is gonna be going into your computer. It's supposed to be a sine wave. Okay, let's plug it back in. Bam. There you go. How about that, huh? Okay. That's what's coming out of the grid. This is grid power right here. Look at that. 
See how it's connected back into the wall outlet there? That's coming straight off the grid. Nice signing studio waveform. 60 hertz. Actually, 59.68 hertz. Nice clean signal. <clears throat> okay, now I've got it hooked up to the power strip, which is connected to the convenience outlet, which is connected to the inverter. Let's look at the waveform. All right, looks pretty good. A little bit of deformation right there. I'll, I'll let's, let me zoom in on that a little bit. See right there? I don't know if that's just part of the windings of the uh, coil, the transformer, or whatever, but it's still one good looking waveform. It has a little bit more fuzziness compared to uh, the grid one, but not too bad. Not too bad. Looks real good. Well, I needed to get this Honda fired up and run it for a little bit anyway. So I got the Honda hooked up with an extension cord to the oscilloscope test lead and into the test scope, oscilloscope. Let's take a look at the waveform. All right, I'm gonna do this freehand. Check this out. That is incredible. No jitter, nothing. That's the best looking waveform I think I've seen. I'll have to look at the video close up, but look at that. Wow. Impressive. Frequency is 59.68. Impressive. Wow. I'm just going hot to neutral extension cord to that very impressive Honda. <laughs> it's a really clean power. Cool. Alright, you tell me which one looks the best. Uh, from what I can tell, the Honda put out the cleanest waveform of them all. And I'll be honest with you, I am no electronics engineer, uh, scientist, or anything like that. But from what I can tell, the waveform was solid, it was tight, it was clean, it was really good looking compared, especially compared to the POS modified sine wave inverter I have sitting over there on the desk. And the APC Schneider ups, ugh, I don't know about that either, but uh, everything else looked really good. The grid power looked really good, the, what's coming out of the outback power inverter, pure sine wave inverter looked really good, but overall that Honda made a that really impressed me. So hopefully this helps you and shows you a little bit about quality of the power that you're getting and stuff and, and uh, helps you make the right decisions on what to buy and, and all that. So hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.